having a little technical difficulties with the mic, so yeah. Yeah, we gotta be over here. But anyway, this is Sets Up California, and this is the Live and Five Show, and I'm Giasi Harper. And I'm Samara. We're broadcasting live from our Live and Five Show studio here on campus. So, Samara, we're kind of in a different place than over where we usually are, but yeah. it's still alright. Still alright. Anyway, we have the scoop on the new dinosaur discovery. Stick around and hear about the bus collision. Is your pa oh. <laughs> Is your ball in and neck gonna be high or low today? Stay tuned for my weather report. We have that story and a lot more on the other side of the break. Stick around. I am Tetzloff, California. I am Tetzloff, California. We, we are, are Tetzloff, California, California, fam. We are Tetzloff, California. I am Tetzloff, California. Oh, that water's nasty. Oh, that water is nasty. Wait, what? I need water. You know you can just get ice cold water at the studio store for a dollar, right? Seriously? Yeah, 205, Mr. Porter's room. Okay. Oh, finally got my water. If you're this desperate like I was, go to the studio store and, and buy a, a ice cold water for one dollar. And also receive a free flavored packet of your choice. Also collect uh, hidden letters to spell out Tetzloff yearbook and win cool prizes. Welcome back from the break. Now it's time for the Tetzloff play-by-play. Tetzloff is a no backpack school. Several students have been seen during passing periods and other times wearing or carrying backpacks. The small cinch bags tend to be the biggest violators. Please don't bring backpacks to class. They can be sent back to the lockers, however. Students will have to take a tardy slip back to their class. Water, 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 and get your ice cold water at the studio store that comes with a free favorite pocket, which really, which eat, which eat with each bottle purchase. The price is just a book. The studio store is open during lunch when the cafe door is closed and after school. So quench your thirst at the studio store for just a dollar and pick up a free, a free flavor packet with each bottle purchase. Time to check out Friday's action and reaction last segment. Let's check it out with Julian. Hey guys, Julian here. It's time for another action reaction. As always, try not to laugh. When white people sneeze, they damn foolish. This ain't how you damn, Susan. This is how you damn, Susan. So Wow, that was extremely funny. Anyway, did you know there really is a science to laughing? In fact, the science of laughing and its effects on the body is referred to as geliotology. Well, that's it for this action reaction. We'll see you guys next week and have a great day. That's it for the play by play at Oh, we'll be right back after the break. I am Tetzloff, California. I am Tetzloff, California. We are Tetzloff, California. 
I am Tetzloff, California. I am Tetzloff, California. Hey guys, it's Jaden here to inform you that we want you to get on the air. So send us your pics to Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, and Skype. You can also watch us on YouTube at Tetzloff CA. Make sure to tag us at hashtag Tetzloff CA. Keep sending us the pictures all year and we'll keep putting them on the air. A new kind of duck-billed dinosaur was discovered by researchers in Alaska. It is said to have lived uh, 69 million years, million years ago in a cold climate. It's often, its official name is um, Eugernalic, Ogernalic, uh, Kupik, Kupik Ansis, which means ancient grazer in the Alaskan, lang Alaskan language Inopiac. Inopiac. The fossils date back to the date back all the way to the Cretaceous period, about 70 million years ago. Watch out, a brush has crashed into Ghana, Africa, due to brake complications. The bus had 81 people inside and the truck had five people inside. The accident wiped out more than 61 people. A man saw that the accident resulted, named Azongo, said the collision was so intense that you could see the truck almost inside the bus where they were smashed together. 25 people survived, but many of them were unconscious. Time now to check in with Victoria with weather. Good morning, Victoria. It's time to check out the Daily 411 with Giasi. Good morning, Giasi. Thank you, Giasi. How many hours are in two days? 48 hours, 50 hours, 51 hours, 52 hours. Take five. There are 48 hours in the course of two days. Time now to check in with Samara. Even though she's like right here, we don't have to check in with her. She's like right here. Time now to check in with Samara. <clears throat> okay. China, the home, of de the home to decades of magnificent buildings and eye-catching sights, the country is practically an architect's playground. Ch playground. China is, home <laughs> is the home of many iconic popular buildings, like the CCTV headquarters. China is deciding to make it forbidden to make more unique and weird buildings. According to the document, bizarre <clears throat> architecture that isn't, a, that isn't economical, functional, aesthetically pleasing, or environmentally friendly would be banned all, through, all throughout China because it didn't detail how those criteria would be assessed. Some people agree with the news, and in a decade, 30% of the new buildings are getting made quick and heartless. The, this will make a big impact on the architecture of China. That wraps up our show for today. We'll see you, we'll see you Monday. Have an excellent day. We're crazy enough to feel alive now. You've got stuff when we arrive.